we'll talk about random forests. My name is Ronak Vyas and this video is a collaboration with Programming Knowledge. To watch more videos on machine learning and programming, do subscribe to the channel. So in this video, we will implement random forest using the scikit-learn library. Let's start with defining a problem now. The task here is to predict whether a bank currency note is authentic or not based on four attributes, which are the variance of the image, wavelet transformed image, skewness, entropy, and kurtosis of the image. This is a binary classification problem, and we will use a random forest classifier to solve this problem. Now, for the data set, you can download and learn more about the data set from the link in the description. Let's start with importing the required libraries. Unlike my previous implementations where I import all the libraries at once, this time I'll import the library only when it is required. So initially we need numpy and pandas library to handle the data. So let's start with that. Let's import pandas as pd and import numpy as np and uh, let that run and we're good to go. Now. Let's import the data set into our code. So data set equal to pandas.read csv is the name of the function and the name of the csv file is build authentication.csv. And I think I'm right here. Let me just check. Yes, awesome. Now let's get a high level view of the data set and let's do that by executing the following command. So dataset dot head and as we can as you know we can see the first five uh, rows of the data set and you can see the variance, the skewness, kurtosis, entropy and the class. Now uh, here when you see the first five rows you can see that the values in the data set are not very well scaled. So we will have to scale the data before training it. So to do all of that, let's divide the data set into x and y variables, which are the attributes and the labels. So x is going to be data set dot iloc to separate the values and let's do 0 to 4 so that it's 0 to 3 and 4th is the class from 0 indexing and we need the values and let y be equal to data set dot alloc and we just need the last index which is 4 so as these follow 0 indexing we need the first 4 columns 0 to 3 which is variance, skewness, kurtosis and entropy in the x variable and the last way, uh, last column the fourth column uh, class in the y variable okay after this, let's divide the data set into a train and test split. So for that, we'll need the train test split module from sklearn. So sklearn dot model selection. We import train test and split. Now let's have our variables ready. So x train x test. Uh, y train and y test and let's start give a function call here so x and y let the test size be 20% so test size equal to 0 0.2 and we don't need a random state so let's put that to 0 uh, I think we're good to go let me just check back again and if we have an error so test size it shouldn't be test it should be test size sorry about that yeah and we're good to go so next let's apply some feature scaling on our data so that the data can be uh, really scaled and proper when we actually train it so for that uh, we need something from the preprocessing module of sklearn so sklearn dot preprocessing import standard scalar scalar then let's scale both x train and x test so let's 
call the class first and make an object so we have sc as the object and now let's scale x train first sc dot fit transform x train and x test is equal to sc dot fit transform x test and now we have scaled the data set we can train a random forest to solve this classification problem let's do that with the random forest classifier so we can get that from the sklearn ensemble module so on some so since random forest is an ensemble of many decision trees uh, the ensemble module will contain the random forest classifier random forest classifier and then uh, let's make this ready make the class ready so let's say classifier is equal to random forest classifier and first we need uh, the n estimators so the n decision trees let's say we have 20 of those then uh, a random state of zero again after which we are going to fit our classifier so classifier dot fit x train comma y train and let's actually save our predictions somewhere so classifier dot predict x test awesome and let's see what the errors are so i think i have some uh error here so from sk learn dot random forest classifier cannot be seen let me just see what the error is oh I see it uh, there has to be a capital F sorry about that and yep we're good to go now the random forest classifier takes in n estimators as a parameter uh, the parameter defines the number of trees in a random forest and we are using 20 trees here so for, for classification problems, the metrics used to evaluate algorithms are accuracy, confusion matrix, precision, recall, and F1 values. Luckily, the scikit-learn library provides all these metrics out of the box. So let's actually use this metrics to see how good our model performed on this data set. So from sklearn.metrics module, we're going to import a few things. So classy classification report is going to be the first thing confusion matrix is next and we need the accuracy to see how good our model is and let's just print all of them now so confusion matrix is first and y test y bread next is the classification report so classification report and again y test and y predicted and the last is the accuracy score for the same parameters and let's see how this works and again we have some errors here so let's solve them cannot import confusion so you have to stop misspelling things wrong Yes. So as you can see at the last uh, print accuracy score, our accuracy is 98%. So that is uh, good enough. And we can see the other metrics that are used for classification problems. So this was a very simple implementation of random forest with minimum, da minimum data processing. Now, uh, what you can do is practice more on Kegel on a real life data set 
which deals with more data processing which can help you understand uh, how a data scientist works thank you